What's going on, world? Welcome to my podcast. It's just different with Ty, where I talk about sports, social, political issues, you name it, everything under the sun. Make sure you like and subscribe to the channel and leave all comments section below. Hit the notification bell so you can get updated on the latest newest videos, all right? Oh, man, I didn't think. I thought this was a joke, but obviously it's not. Reports are coming out. It seems real. Ja Morant, another gun incident. We got to talk about this. Let's go. Welcome to It's Just Different with your host, Ty. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Uh, man. John ja Morant. We all know John ja Morant. Uh, man. Star of Memphis Grizzlies. It appears once again, it's probably what the, the third, fourth time, third time that there's an incident between him or involves him and a gun. You know, whether if it's allegedly brandishing a gun, whether if it's uh, flashing a gun on social media in the club. Now, supposedly, again, he flashed another gun and the Memphis. Grizzly basically suspended him from all activities and whatever have you. I did not think that this was real. Obviously, it is. Uh, I don't know what's going on. You know, it's. I seen it pop up and I'm thinking to myself, nah, this is a joke or maybe this is something old. And then when I, you know, looked through, uh, I think it was the Bleacher Report or score and. They had it posted, and I said, oh, no, this is actually real. So I'm thinking to myself, you know, uh, as a basketball player, I love Ja's game, man, and I'm thinking to myself, what will cause him to, you know, do this again if this is true? And there's probably some truth to it because the Memphis Grizzlies, that they suspended him, and the way the report is coming out, it seems like it's a fact. Um, I think he might have brandished another gun on, on, on live or something like that. I don't know. The, the, the information is, you know, we don't I don't know as much now. It just happened. I just seen it maybe 35 minutes ago. And I'm trying to say to myself, what would be the reason that he would do this? You know, and and is this something where. He was just showing off his gun collection at home or, you know, and it, or who knows? I, I, I'm i lost to words right now. And then I'm looking at it, too, from a other perspective. Could it be possible that Ja Morant actually wants out of Memphis? Hear me out. Is it possible that Ja Morant actually wants out of Memphis. And this is his way of lashing out. Now, I know some of y'all might say, yo, that's stupid. That's a stupid way to do it. Um, why would he want to leave Memphis? He's set to make like $200 plus million plus a year. He's the franchise. I mean, not a year, but his contract. Uh, next contract is going to be $200 plus million, um, this summer, right? I think it's this summer. So we're talking in a matter of a month or two. Basically, he's supposed to sign the extension. Uh, you know, um, he's the face of uh, of that team. He's the franchise player. He's probably going to be there for the next, you know, he's going to be the franchise player for the next 10, 12, 15 years possibly. Um, why would he do this? Uh, I don't know him personally. I don't want to get into his upbringing, because I don't know, was was he, you know, someone that was, you know, was this, I, I don't know. I don't know. I want to get too personal in that. You know, again, it could, it could be something going on with him that we, we might not know. Uh, but I'm thinking, I'm looking at it as he's, he wants out of Memphis. I don't think he wants to be there. That's the only thing I can come up with. There's no way, there's no reason after going to what he went through, um, you know, uh, about a month ago and and basically having to uh, own up to what because you remember he said I own up to that. 
Um, you know, I made a mistake. I, I, I'm in a learning process, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And here we are again a month later down the same road for the same thing with John ja Morant. So to me, that tells me he does not want to be in Memphis. I could be wrong, but that's what it screams to me. Um, athletes sometimes, they'll do something, they'll lash out, they'll do something crazy or what it may appear to be crazy to other people to show that they no longer want to be with an organization. And this might be one of those cases. I've seen it time after time after time again with different athletes where you're like, yo, what, what homie doing? Why, why he do that? And then you find out after the season that their reason behind it, right? This might be the case, but if so, he's probably going about it the wrong way. Um, I would just say, yo, listen, I don't want to be here. Just say it. Or I, I, I don't know. That's what I'm saying. This is mind boggling. I just read about this, like I said, about 40 minutes ago. I thought it was a joke and he may need some help, you know, um, either. Nah, I think he does. <laughs> I want to say maybe. I don't want to, you know, I don't know the man personally, but to be in this situation again, when it's alleged, you know, he supposedly brandished a gun to a, a teenager and then it was a, supposedly in the, and I don't know if that was the incident at the mall and then you know at the, at the club and then now this and then you have other different things it's just you know oh well, honestly maybe we might just have to come to the realization that he maybe he maybe he might be about that life I don't know I, I again I don't know just because you are a professional basketball player does not mean you're a square don't mean you a punk either but you know some do you know he might have been about that life it just so happened he was blessed with the gift to play basketball professionally you know um there was a couple people i knew that went down the wrong road earlier in their life but was athletically talently gifted at a sport and they just stopped shorter, you know, where if they probably would have went further in life, they, you know, them dudes are still about that life, but they just was blessed with that gift. Or maybe they would have got there and said, you know what, I'm going to leave this life alone, this past life alone. And now I, God granted me with this or gave me this second opportunity and I might change it. I mean, again, I think sometimes we get too caught up in these guys are athletes and we think they're robots and they don't go through certain things or deal with certain things a certain way. And he very much may be about that life. Well, he just might just be a person that, yo, man, I got all these guns. I like showing off my gun collection, this and that. And that's what it is. I, I try to say what's different. What's different from Ja showing a gun? If it's true what they said on this one, what is the difference from Ja Morant showing a gun um, or, you know, flashing a gun than a white football player? which I've seen, or, or a white athlete showing their gun collections off on uh, whether if they, they went hunting and, and and killed a deer or something like that, and they showing their gun, you know, standing there with their gun right there or just showing their gun collection. You don't really hear nothing about them getting in trouble or or or, or for that or their uh, organization saying, yo, you can't do that. It seems to be cool. So is this a thing where – you know, he, he's getting heat for it because he's black or is it because how he's doing it, where he's doing it? Because I mean, with the, with, when he flashed the gun at the club, it was a lot of people was mad that he did it because he was in a club atmosphere. But what if he was in the, the confines of his home just showing off his gun collection? Does that mean, you know, is that the same thing? So, I, again, we don't know because every all the information isn't out yet, but I wanted to touch on that. And I, that's just what I came to the conclusion that maybe that's just him saying, yo, I want out of Memphis. But you guys let me know. You can um, comment in the section. Again, make sure you subscribe to the channel. It's just different with Ty. Again, um, hit the notification bell. All right. So with that said, peace and love.